What's up people? This is Saul V with the Porsche Macan Project and due to a few requests from our last episode, today we're going to be going over the iCar Soft Porsche 2.0 which is a diagnostic tool that is used for various applications on most Porsches. So today we're going to be going over what we can do with it. Well, here's the main menu that you're going to find as soon as you plug this into the OBD2 port on your Porsche. You have your diagnostics, service, voltage, OBD2 readers, and so forth. I'm going to go through each one of these to give you a brief menu of everything that is available on each one of these. Now, because this video will be quite long, I'm going to go through each one of them and probably speed it up. If need be, you can pause it. As you can see, once you get into each one of these modules, it will give you general information on the module itself. From the release date, the serial number, the software date, and different codes that are useful for either replacing the part or being able to uh, see if the modules are up to date or need to be updated. You can read the fault code, clear it, and view data that's pertain pertaining for the most part um, with amperage and electricity to see if, if the if the module is working or not okay and we're in the second part which is a service menu and then you have your basic functions for anything that would be requiring um, resetting after doing your basic schedule maintenance whether it's your oil changes your um, your different scheduled maintenances for each one of the vehicles once they get done you can also do them yourself this is your oil reset service intermediate maintenance 
and so forth for each one of the vehicles. I'm not gonna go into detail because it's pretty self-explanatory. Same thing with the other ones. This one's basically to release the piston from the rear brake caliper once you do a brake job. Um, it will help you be able to do the job without having to um, take it to the dealer and you can do it at home yourself. This is uh, what you would need in order to change your battery efficiently. That way you don't burn any fuses or modules. Um, you have your same thing if you service your throttle body, your steering wheel, um, the DPF bleeding of the brakes if you need to do that or injectors as well. Uh, once you change them you'll be able to reset those codes. Um, the next menu you'd have your voltage. Basically this is helpful to see if any of your modules or your battery is running low. So don't need to go into too much detail on that. But this is basically your OBD2 uh, check if you get any type of uh, check engine light or any type of code on the dashboard. Review is basically the tab that allows you to scan any codes that are on your car. Mine has a TPMS error just because I have larger wheels so it's telling me that uh, I have to reset them but I can't because I'm using 22 instead of the factory 19, 18 to 21 range that they offer you. DTC lookup, basically if you have a code and you don't know what it means, you can look it up here and it gives you basic information that would apply to that. Setup, you have your language, you never measure, your buzzer, if you're kind of annoyed at that buzzing, you can turn that off, there you go, thank God, and so forth. Then help. gives you basic information on OBD2 and what it is. Um, you're about to have, which just gives you information on this product itself. And that concludes the full tutorial, a full review of every item that's listed in this uh, diagnostic tool. So this concludes our video with the iCarSoft diagnostics tool. This is the POR version 2.0. It's the one that I own. I don't know or have met much experience with the version 1.0, but um, some people have reached out to me and asked me to go over the different menus and the different features that are inside this thing. So hopefully that answers a lot of your questions and it helps you and, and guide you in the right direction towards picking one of these up or maybe something else that you might have in mind. If you think there's something better than this, drop it in the comments. I'm sure somebody else will appreciate that different alternatives that might be available. As of right now, I believe this is the best option available besides spending thousands of dollars on the professional um, dealer grade uh, software that's available for, for these cars. So if you don't want to go on a huge budget to work on your car, this is the next best thing. So the, comp the link will be at the bottom. So pick one up, let me know what you think, and uh, hopefully it will guide you through and help you do a lot of DIYs, or at minimum, you have that peace of mind that if you get a little check engine light before you take it to the dealer, you can plug it in, see exactly what the computer is telling you that might be wrong with the car. That way it gives you that peace of mind that they're not overcharging you for something that might not be wrong with the car. So if that peace of mind is worth the price, link's at the bottom. Um, so. Thank you again and please help support this channel by clicking on that link or hitting the subscribe button or dropping comments. Your comments are greatly appreciated and uh, till the next one.